So we're basically going to have to take a big detour. We could go in there right now, but it won't do us much good. We need to come back this way. And find something. The game kind of like... Hmm, I don't know how to say this. It kind of fucks you over in this chapter. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a little bit. There's a certain thing you get that you think is going to be one thing, but it turns out to be another thing. I know that's cryptic and vague. You'll see what I'm talking about. Getting that money. I don't think Merchant has anything new, but let's talk to him. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on. What are you selling? Well, I think we got a couple things we could sell here. Yep, we can sell both of these for 10,000. Thank you. And we're still sitting at 131. The uh, bow gun is 70,000, so we have plenty of room for it, but we're going to need to get a larger case before it's really viable. Come back anytime. And even then it's going to be tricky. I always really like how whenever you talk to the merchant, he just like pulls his robe open and like exposes everything he's got inside there. The pervert in me always kind of wonders like, I wonder if he's going to be naked under there and just like start flashing people. Like, that was actually a VG Cats comic way back in the day. It's a funny comic. I used to really enjoy that comic. I don't think it's as good these days, but back then it was pretty okay. I'm almost certain this guy will have a Plogus. And I think there's someone behind me right now? No? His footsteps sounded pretty heavy. Oh, he's back there. He is back there. He's just not as close as I thought he was. Dude. Get out. Alright. I can't believe this guy's still alive. <laughs> these guys. You with your mask. You with your never-ending health. Fuck off. Come on. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> wow, this feels like it's not working at all. <laughs> That was weird, he had like no reaction to that. I gotta not let this guy sit behind me. Fuck you. I had flashbacks to Resident Evil 6 there where you shoot an enemy and there's like no reaction whatsoever. Just no animation to show that you're actually doing damage to them. One of the many reasons I hate that game. I get asked in the comments a lot like, why do you hate Resident Evil 6 so much? Well, it's simple. It's because it's one of the worst games ever made. Especially in comparison to this. Now, I don't think we can actually go through this door. Right. So that kind of tells you uh, you're blocked off at that little choke point there. You want to keep wrapping around this way. This guy's sitting here waiting to take pot shots. He really should have fallen off that edge there, but they can't really do that in the game's programming. <laughs> and more guys with shields. I love being able to take these guys out with one shot. One well-placed headshot. The key there is well-placed. If you're good enough. I can still hear somebody. Let's grab this. There he is. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to come try and dick us over while I'm screwing around with his door. So you guys may remember that this part in the main game is pretty awesome. Because this is where you get the broken butterfly. It's somewhat less awesome in this game. Because this guy is just sitting in here waiting to be an asshole. 
And I cannot abide that, so we're gonna kill him before we even get in there. And you actually can't hookshot up there until you try the door. Alright, 3,000 from him. So let's see what this game has for us in terms of loot. Shotgun shells. A real grenade, fuck yeah. And a yellow herb. I love it. And then we got the hourglass with gold decor, which is a sellable item in the main game. Can we open this? No, we can't open it from this side either. <laughs> She's like, how odd. Yeah, so you grab that and you're like, oh sweet, more treasure. I can get more pesetas for that. But then it turns out you would actually be wrong because the hourglass with gold decor, there are scratches on it that suggest it has been placed in some mechanism, is actually a key item and not a treasure in this game. <laughs> so you can't sell it for shit. You need it to progress. Which isn't like a huge deal, but I just kind of see it as the game like kind of fucking with you. <laughs> It's like changing the rules of an actual item. Did I get that chest right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I was like, wait, is that open? <laughs> but that's what we needed. So now we can wrap back around here. That's kind of what this chapter is, just making a big loop right there. And anybody who remembers the main game, remembers the horror of this part, remembers how much I got my fucking ass stomped. <laughs> in my let's play. Oh my god. Here's a pro tip for you, it's not really any different here. So get a grenade ready, and buckle up fuckers. I'm gonna see if I can get this grenade before I trigger it. This almost never works, but I'd like to try. Oh, it totally worked that time, that's awesome. All right, sweet. And there's an herb hanging out over there, we definitely can't get that. All right, wish me luck, guys. Here we go. It's a smart trap. It's a good way to go. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck! They shot me! Uh, uh. Okay, gotta heal, gotta heal. Whew. Let's take a second. Let's get composed. I took a crossbow shot there that I didn't expect. It's all good. Um, I'm actually just going to spend a green herb. I don't want to use a full mixture right now. And I have four greens, so... No biggie. Fucker, he came right out! Why does that always happen to me?! Oh, he's going to kill me! Oh, God! He hurts so bad. I only have two bars of health left. I'm using a full mixture. Fuckers. They just sit there and take pot shots at you. Uh, okay, where's... There he is! Oh, shit! No! Damn it! I hate this room! Stop shooting me! Okay, he went back inside the cage. Well, he's just kind of hanging out in the door right now. <laughs> See, a lot of times he just gets stuck in there. It just stays in there so you can pot shot him. But every time I do this room, he seems to fucking come out and still come right at me anyway. I just have no luck with this room. Somehow that didn't draw aggro on him. I won't complain. Alright, let me loot before the stuff disappears. These douchebags are going to keep dropping in for a little while. Just keep him on the opposite side. God damn it. Stay over there, bro. He's coming for me. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna want this equipped anyway. Let's just use this. Oh, he fucking puked all over me! God damn it! I was too slow! 
That's okay. Use another mixture. Oh, he caught me! Motherfucker! Dude, leave me alone! Duh! <laughs> okay, I've lost count of how many goddamn health items I've used throughout this section, but it's all my mixtures. All of them, they're all gone now. So that's cool. Son of a bitch. Okay, hopefully that's it for the regular guys. I'm gonna start whittling away at this guy. I like to use the rifle and just shoot him in the back as soon as the opportunity presents itself. It's kind of hard with this cage because the bars can obscure your shots. Wow, he actually went down like a bitch. Two shots? Weird. And he get, drops the ruby, which is also weird, because normally he just drops like 10,000, I think. I don't think he usually drops treasure. Whatever. It's over. That went disgustingly bad, but at least I didn't die. I still have that going for me. If I can get through this whole thing without a single death, that'll be pretty okay with me. Bowgun bolts up there. And I think we got all of our loot. You know what? I'm going to be an optimist about this, guys. I'm going to count that as a blessing, because that freed up a lot of my inventory space. So, I'm glad that I just got my shit stomped in that little part right there. You know, it couldn't, it couldn't have worked out any better for me. That's great. Let's see, why is this empty chest sitting here? Maybe I should take a closer look. Ooh, there's an indentation at the bottom. Wonder what goes in there. You inserted the hourglass with gold decor. Alright, time to move on. And check this out. Leon, I'm sorry, but I can't be seen with you. Yeah, sorry, Leon. I would try to help you out, but. The game's stupid rules won't allow it. So I'll just stay in here and watch you kick some ass for a little bit. Oh man, he's in trouble. Good luck, Leon. Godspeed. Alright, here comes these assholes. Shit, I just completely messed up. I completely messed up. This is not a good chapter for me. Let me jump down. Let me jump down. Oh shit. You're supposed to use that thing up there to drop fire on the guys with the shields. That's if you're actually good at the game. Ah! He ran so much closer to me just to do that. Fuck you. Oh, man. Just so he could get behind me. Just so he could do that. Fucking hell, I am sucking so bad. First aid spray, use it up. And then you know what? Let's start getting rid of these things. Oh shit, he's already detached, okay. This fucking game is trying to, like, make me lose my mind right now. It's doing a pretty good job. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, calm down. Everything's fine. We're doing great. Back here is the last treasure. Elegant chessboard just sitting there. I think we've actually killed everybody. We're still doing great on ammo for every gun we have. I've got two shitty... Incendiary grenades and two flashes. Decent amount of health. Everything is just fine. Oh my god. Let's 
finish looting in here. We can't fuck with the switch or anything. I think that's actually what extends the bridge in the main game, so there's no reason to use it. And we can look at all the sweet loot in there, including the rocket launcher, but we can't get it. Leon's still over there fighting for his life. <laughs> Yeah, that thing right there is a great thing to do if you're ready for it and you can actually shoot it. But I messed it up. But in any case, I don't think we can actually walk over here. If Leon sees me now, I would have to finish him off. He would never do that, Ada. But yeah, it just stops you right there. You can even see, like, treasure on the table right there that they just taunt you with. What a pile of shit. Hey, more of you. I wasn't really expecting that. There we go. Ugh, well, more Plagas to deal with. Fuck you. There we go. Alright, well. That was brutal and ugly and very resource consuming, but we got through it, guys. <laughs> My memory of this game is that it really only gets harder from here, so please wish me luck, I'ma need it. There's uh, another flash grenade up here, and I believe that's about it for this chapter. All right, you come into this room. I don't think you can actually loot anything here. Yeah, all these pots are empty. I remember checking these before. Leon! I got it! Lewis! I have the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. No, he won't. Stay with me, Lois. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! Yeah, it wasn't bad enough the first time. Why don't you guys just watch Lewis get tentacle raped again? Unfortunately, a bit too late. Did you retrieve the sample? No. Sadler has it. Hmm. There will be another time. Have you had a chance to eliminate Leon? Not yet. <laughs> if that's the case, then maybe we can capitalize on his little lucky streak. Take advantage of the distraction he is causing for Sadler and his followers to retrieve the sample. Indeed. Oh boy, and a chapter. 85% hit ratio down a little bit. 57 enemies killed. Hey, we're up over 200. That's pretty nice. Jack Krauser has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been tested both on and off the battlefield. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. My conclusion? He's a great soldier. No more, no less. As long as he's well compensated, 
He shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. Krauser answers directly to Wesker, and it was Wesker who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder if it wasn't to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt, Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of Las Plagas and the power they represent. This could have dire consequences for the organization. On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. That said, the stage and its players will ultimately come crashing down in the end. Bad luck for him. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. So, who exactly is Krauser going to take the fall for? Like, nobody's holding you people accountable for all the shit that you do. <laughs> she says that, then it's like, but who's actually going to, like, deal with it? Like, who has to take a fall? Nobody has to do that. You all just keep doing this crazy fucked up shit until you all die. That's how it works. Anyways, guys, that was chapter three. Short but sweet. Very, very difficult with that one room that just just ruins my life every time I enter it. And uh, I think it's only going to get worse from here. So thanks again for the support, guys. I'll see you all in chapter four. Take her easy.